Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. All right, we're live. All right. Guys, hello. we're live on the internet right now. Hello, internet. My name is Hinkley. I'm your host of this show called Who's Shock talking? Talk. Hinkley. That would be me. The, the people are seeing me. You see me. I'm right in front of you. Oh, yeah. And then these are the talent today. It is, if we're going from left to right, you have John. No, That's not don't. John. Jason. <laughs> Jeremy. John. Seriously. And then John is on the right. Yeah. I went, the, I went backwards. Just kidding, that's Liz. You guys know Liz is our repair repair woman in our shop, our luthier, if our you will. A repairman person. A repairman, repair but man a person. woman, yes. A repairman lady. Yes. And she also is an incredible guitar and singer. Oh, guitar shucks. player and singer. She's not a good yes. <laughs> so what are you guys going to start with today? Blue drag. Blue drag. Okay. Let it go. Yeah, you go ahead.
Yes, Tom almost noise. had it. <laughs> Uh, Almost had it. <laughs> we got our first request of the day from Tex. Amazing Grace. Have you ever sang Amazing Grace? Amazing Grace. I sang it in church in like 2001. Really? Mm -hmm. So you remember it. I bet I remember it. Will you put the lyrics up there? Yeah, I can do that. I think yeah. it's just one verse just over and over. Is it? I put it up there. Okay. In case I'm wrong. It's always great to hear Liz. Wow, great singing Liz. You guys are all so nice to Liz. Gabe Tucker says you have an amazing voice, unless you're talking about my speaking voice. I'm going to probably assume that was actually your speaking voice, Jeremy. Yeah. You're right. So how are you guys doing today? I've done a couple audio books where I'm just oh, wonderful. Like, reading audio, reading books, and then putting it on the internet. Really? That would be funny, wouldn't it? That'd it be channeled great. me just reading books. The unofficial audio books. You should. I've done audio books, but it's just <laughs> the silence of Jeremy reading a book. <laughs> Internally. Uh, we'll just set a mic in front of Jeremy while he reads a book. Get to the end of the page and like, hmm. what did I just read? And then start it over again. You, going, should, huh. you should do your mandolin instruction book in an audio book form, but instead of doing the, whenever it goes to the mandolin parts, you need to just acapella I just read out the mandolin. Three, four, three, five, four on the A string. The a string. Then we go six, seven, six on the E string. It should sound like bomb, bop, ba do ba do Yeah, something like that, yeah. Right. You should definitely do that. Oh man, that's uh, good. We got Amazing Grace brought up for the lyrics. Oh yeah, I can do that. And then we do it. Is it D or no? No, C. C.
so far yay great job guys thank you Hinkley. and that you got a couple more requests honestly i don't know how many requests we're going to be doing here today guys just so you know i don't know just many because songs. you know knows them all. We're gonna force them to them. <laughs> uh, know them all we got a request for rawhide what's rawhide it's a monroe fast instrumental that it only takes more than one instrument to do but i'll do a quick <laughs> <laughs> I should do a handbook. We also had a Blue Moon of Kentucky on TikTok as a request. But they want to hear the Elvis first, Presley version. I it. said Blue Moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys know that Elvis Presley had a huge hit with that, right? Yes, I did know that he had a huge hit. I have never heard it. I've never heard the Elvis Presley version. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's a really good impression. That's my Elvis impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> Live, laugh. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Uh, I heard this cool thing on a podcast about Elvis. Speaking of Elvis. Okay. Really? They're saying that Rupert Murdoch is killed him. Well he is Elvis. No, they're saying <laughs> that he's indirectly responsible for his death. Why? What? Because he sought out and researched and released a tell all documentary or book about uh, Elvis at the time. Three of his bodyguards that had quit at the time did a tell-all, and it made him so depressed he sat on the toilet and overdosed. Oh, oh my Rupert, gosh! Rupert did it. That was actually on the uh, built his empire. It was on the uh, 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 what's his name Conan O'Brien podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can trust everything. You can trust my Conan. Yeah. Uh, oh, Liz, man. do you know Blue Moon Kentucky? Or I could try singing it or Jason. Um, I only know the chorus. The chorus. So I can try to sing the harmonies to it. Okay. What could I do it in? Well, Kentucky, keep on shining. You know, the night starts on the day. The summer's a turn, right? Okay. There you go. The chorus on the verse. Ready? Mm hmm.
really nice comments on TikTok, by oh, the way. Oh, let's read those. I like yes. nice comments. I'm so used to the mean ones. <laughs> Nat says, I'm glad I stumbled across this live feed. There's some pretty cool stuff going on here. Thank you very much. We do this actually every single week. And if every you want Wednesday. to, you can go to our YouTube channel, The Acoustic Shop, and you can watch our older ones if you really want to. Perfect, especially yeah. Liz. Well, that just makes me feel less. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And then we have a solid uh, question for Jason. Has the bridge ever fallen on your base mm, during not performance? Well, I was performing, but it, I've seen it happen actually with her mom done. on this base. One time, I'm not saying she was irresponsible, but <laughs> we didn't realize. We were no, you were amateurs and didn't realize. They were playing up in start uh, to lean. Leadville, Colorado, way up in the mountains at a a old mountain man. No, it wasn't a mountain man. It was a like a uh, mining camp. Old mining camp. Recreation. Old mine recreation camp. It was, thing. Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh -huh. I learned I learned how to play poker there. Drinking sarsaparilla. Drinking sarsaparilla. We were dressed in the old. It was almost like a Sudar City where we were like dressed old timey. Yeah. What? Had little had little caps on Whoa. and like oh, on our arm. And they they had this place where you could actually pan for gold. And I got a pretty good amount of gold <laughs> out of that. What? Yeah, I got five hundred bucks. Red fest, but different. Yeah, it, it was it was a uh, mining camp recreation but, up there. But it did happen in the middle of a show there, and it was loud. It scared the hell out everybody of everybody. Everybody thought somebody shot a shotgun because you're playing a bass. Also, that thing smacks over with all that pressure, and it it's flat, Damn. so it just smacks the whole top and went. Oh man! Wow! And everybody like ducked. <laughs> <laughs> so now I keep an eye on it every every few. But well, that is a good question. On these uh these, I, what do you call those uh tension bridges or? Floating. floating floating bridges yeah that's what you call Three them floating bridges. That anyway these floating bridges that are held down by the tension of the strings um as you tune normally we're always tightening strings and tuning up so it keeps pulling that bridge farther and farther forward and that's on a banjo a mandolin or a bass or anything that just has that violin and they start to lean forward and if you don't adjust that and pull that top back eventually they're gonna smack down mm -hmm. Dang. I think mine's level. watch yeah. out you can watch uh, compilations though on just youtube i'm it. sure of Bases, bridge falling. I wonder. I think that that's the other thing. Yeah. Um, Everybody's seen it. And then also, John Washburn brought up that that's a beautiful guitar. And then that brings us to our yeah. first segment, if you will. What are you playing? Liz, if you could describe a little bit what it's that guitar is. One. It's a pretty one. It's an E40 O with a nice Adirondack top and Indian rosewood back and sides. I play. The E20 00, and it has been my favorite guitar for many, many years. It's and not as blingy as the 40. The 40's got all no. this beautiful abalone, which I've mentioned this before, but Eastman, they spend a lot of time making sure they match up the abalone so it doesn't have like some dead ones, like some the dark browns or something. It's all this kind of white and green and blue and beautiful looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very beautiful, very, very nice playing guitar. Um, it's got a very wide neck on it. So sometimes people are deterred by that, but I think for finger picking. Liz has big turd. fingers. Yeah, look at these honkers. Did I've had these since turd? I was. Turd? <laughs> Did you say turd? I didn't they, say turd. They, they, they turd. deterred that guitar. They deterred. <laughs> they deterred from playing the guitar. That's not right. Yeah, deterred. De dear turd. Liz deterred every guitar we should buy. <laughs> just, just for you guys. But it's a very, very nice playing guitar. So. You're gonna say when you develop this hand. You've had oh, I've five. had these since I was five, and there's, there's. Uh, they haven't grown since then, but it's yeah. Just like, yeah, I, just, I look that's like a. That's a scoliosis a, brace. A grave. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got that <laughs> When did you have your brace, Liz? Uh, I had my back brace from uh, fifth grade to junior year of high oh, school. Man. Uh, the, the developing years of social uh, interactions. Her spine was a question mark. When kids it are was. that nicest, I think, is... My spine was an S, actually. Still is, yeah. Not a question so mark. So, eventually, it'll just, I'll just be bunched like this. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of looks forward to that day. She... I can't wait. <laughs> I'm scared children. Yeah, she always talks about how she's going to grow a beard and a mustache. Offer uh, candy to kids on Halloween. That's really Liz's dream retirement. That's, it's true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to be an old witch at the end of the street. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Uh, Jeremy, wow. what mandolin are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the uh, MD 815 PGE. So this is a, actually, I think it's GE HB. Ice. Okay, it's the MD 815 PGE SB, HB, the Honeyburst. Kind of yeah. like too many, too many letters and words in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a very beautiful Honeyburst 
Uh, finish on that, the PGE is kind of their performance uh, mandolin, so it has a pickup built into it, K&K pickup, and the pick guard or finger rest on it. And then it's the 815, which has the Adirondack spruce top and gorgeous maple back and sides. Uh, Steve McCurr on uh, YouTube says, just attach an X-brace to Liz's back. <laughs> That's, fine. That's exactly right. A forward shifted scalloped X-brace. <laughs> also says his next guitar is going to be a double O size. Awesome. Nice. It's nice to have a collection of different They things, totally bring different, different sounds to yeah. your playing. Like you, you play things differently and come up with different ideas on different guitars. Real you quick. do. It's Sheldon really on TikTok wants to know if we get a solo of each. Maybe just do a quick another tone demo on each instrument. Mm -hmm. Let's play something. Liz, yeah, play a little song. Um, Jeremy Doodle. Beautiful. And then, yeah, Jason, we did get asked on TikTok what your brand and what your brand is. I have a 53 Epiphone. I don't remember the model. These are the, I, I always get them mixed up with the uh, the K models, and I th always call it an M1, but it's Gabe, not. Gabe on there asked, something. who is the fellow on the big fiddle? That's Jason. Who That's Jason. That? That's my little brother. <laughs> that little section there reminded me of a great story I want to tell on Jeremy. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. There's a really, really oh, famous radio up. show. I thought we um, told this before. Probably. I don't know about we told it on this show, but there's this famous radio show that used to broadcast syndicated across the country and other countries called Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour. It's still going. It's still going. It's a big show. Michael still Michael Jonathan. Going. Michael Jonathan hosts the thing. But he always had this tendency to call you out and make you uncomfortable on things, and then he, he was doing it the for, the, the show, for the radio yeah. listeners. Like, if I introduce you, hey, I want him to hear your instrument. Okay, go ahead. So anyway, he told us ahead of time, I'm going to call out your name when I introduce you, and I want you to just play something on the on your instrument that showcases it. So we were all doing it, and we're really uncomfortable doing that because we're young and we're like, this is dumb. So anyway, he calls out Jeremy, or he calls out Dad. Dad does his. He calls out John. I think he does his. <laughs> and then Jeremy. I had just it, uh, learned a cool new lick, but I hadn't quite learned it. And, and he says, Jeremy Chapman, let, let me hear that fine mandolin. And Jeremy played essentially what the mandolin audio equivalent of a person falling down 10 flights of stairs. And then climbing back Four up and falling minutes. down again. Oh. He's like, let me try that again. I can get yeah. this. Did you He'd say stop that? stop in the middle of no. it. No, he stopped <laughs> in the middle of it and tried again. And then fell even further. What was the <laughs> to which the host going, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's online, so we should find that show. We should find something. that clip and repost <sighs> it or something. And then I went back to my hotel room and I practiced that lick 1,000 times. What yeah. is the lick? I can't do it. I'm not, you're not going to put me on the spot again. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you remember what it was, though? What was I it? do, but I can't I remember how to do it. Exactly. What was it from? It's <laughs> Somebody just showed me that <laughs> lick, and it's a guitar lick. I tried to learn on the mandolin, mm. and I failed at it. Dang. And embarrassed myself in front of the world. Oh, man. Anyway. Great story, Jason. Let's talk about some more fun things. One time right. I got What's deep another? pants in the gym. <laughs> that was fun, too. I want to talk about that. What? I climbed the ladder, and the kids came up behind me and deep pants me, and I was hanging from a ladder. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> It is true. Why don't we just bring out our embarrassing moments right now? Liz? Um, one time I forgot that I had a um, mic on my ear that attached to my to my my mouth. Are you gonna tell this on here? Yeah, and I and it was a really bad show and I said, This is awful and it just echoed through the room. <laughs> that sucks so much. Jeremy Shepard says Liz. Exclamation point, so I yelled it really. Yeah. Hey, That's hey. a different shepherd. Are you guys like cousins or something? Probably. Probably. Jeremy, Jeremy, we're working on a way to invite special guests via their phone onto this live stream. Oh, we are. And we're not ready for that yet. <laughs> so when we are, you will not be invited. Yeah. We should do it. We probably won't yeah. be able to hear it. Jeremy, I'll the, be able to hear the, the podcast is great. If you guys haven't listened to it yet, we do have a podcast called The Acoustic Shop Knows People. And Jeremy Shepard was a guest in a. Uh, he he, he kind of has that same brother sort of thing where we can pick on each other and, and have fun, but he also told a lot of really cool ways that he got into the acoustic guitar world, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you for doing that, Jeremy. And if you guys haven't checked that out yet, uh, it's on uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, 
Um, Wherever you want to hear about Every podcast, podcast place Google, is out there. Yeah. Jeremy Shepard is probably mad at me because I, uh, I capitalized off of his uh, bad nicknames. nicknames from high school. He combined some and then threw in some words. Yeah. All right, let's play another song. You guys want to do one here? Yeah, which one? Um, some people do call that the doghouse bass. I do like, uh, what's that one your brother wrote the... Funeral? Yeah. You're doing all these songs that I have no idea. This was pretty straightforward. It's like a... It's just C minor. Liz, after this one, you would switch to the other full guitar? Yeah. Person on TikTok says, you guys should do that. I do some picking here and there. Maybe we could even do uh, viewers. Everywhere. We'll see. <laughs> We're trying things. Let's go to that for the... Jeremy, we will tell you when and where. At A flat.
Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> I like that reaction at the end of it. Speaking of spooky guys and haunting, I've got to uh, give a little praise to the media team here, uh, Hoopy and Jason, position. everybody that worked on it. We just did that very special project we talked about last week where we went to Nashville, we went to Rosine, Kentucky, we went to Bill Monroe's, I mean, it was a pilgrimage, really. We went to, it was. Uh, where Bill grew up, went to his last place that he lived, and one of the coolest things, we went to the Monroe Homestead in Rosine, Kentucky, where Bill was a kid uh, growing up, and I got to play that new Bill Monroe Hall of Fame mandolin on his front porch, and I played probably the most haunting melody he ever wrote called My Last Days on Earth. It's a really cool cross-tuned mandolin song. But these guys filmed some cool stuff. We had drones flying around. and Which and I also learned at the... I also learned at the, uh, the celebration that we went to in Nashville, like, the day before. I don't remember who said it was. I think it was Wyatt Ellis said that he actually, uh, Bill actually wrote that song whenever he thought that he had cancer, and he yeah. thought that he was, like, about to die, but I think he, he had, had, had a heart attack, he had and cancer. they didn't give him much cancer. chance of, of living, so he wrote that song because mm -hmm. it, it just came to him, like, these, uh, my days on earth are over, band -band. and he wrote that melody, and uh, the... I was talking about this with Corey last night. The tuning is so weird. And Monroe didn't really have a lot of, like, he didn't have technical music theory. But he really? still just made the mandolin. What sounds cool? <clears throat> totally My, tuned it. What is the tuning? When there? I was a kid. It's G sharp, G sharp, then C sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, E. Which Good comes Lord. to, like, a I was, C sharp minor chord melody. I was told, and this is probably not true. But his mandolin was brought to him out of tune, and he didn't bother to tune it. He just kind of tuned them up to a, a pitch that was relative to what they were at when it was handed it, handed to him in the hospital, and that's how he came up with that that deal. I believe that's in the Bear family set. We'll have to look that up again. But anyway, but that's what I would heard. So what I was getting to, guys, stop the video right now. Leave our channel. Watch this live stream. Go to YouTube and watch this video. We'll no, wait. wait till after. That. Yeah, we should just put it in. The, <laughs> We'll wait for me. It's four and a half minutes. We'll wait for you guys. Now, at, at the end of this video, go check that out because it is probably my favorite video these guys put out. It's and beautiful, it's awesome man. Looking visually you. and the audio turned out great. I was out there trying my darndest. It was gorgeous. Right, I had really like that, that one. Loved Blue Drag, and also Steve was really paying attention to the words. That one of my favorite parts of that song was he he shot the guy, took his coat off, found the family picture, ripped it up, man. and threw it in cold the blood. It's cold blood. Cold <laughs> blood. It's crazy. Most of my brother's songs are mean like that. Make a good meal for really? the crows. Mm -hmm. Which I used to think that was make a good meal for the cold, mm -hmm. which also is very illustrative yeah. and would mm -hmm. work. Liz, you switched out? I did, yes. Switched out? Go ahead and tell the people what that awesome uh, guitar is. This is a Hudson Dalton with uh, Italian spruce and Coca Bola back and sides. And the back on this is uh, oh my goodness. like pretty unbelievable. I, I can't I can't really believe how beautiful like a that is. Shock test. Yeah, Warshock. man, it's beautiful. I see beauty. It doesn't. It just doesn't even look like that's real, but it is, and it sounds really good. Uh, this is one of my favorite guitars in the shop. It is very nice, and I just switched to this is a 1914 uh, F4 mandolin. Um, a fellow by the name of Michael Savage brought us when we first opened, like our first year. He brought us like 30 vintage Gibson instruments. And we were just like overwhelmed. He said, I'd like you guys to find homes for these. His dad, Doc Savage, was a authorized repairman for Gibson mandolins in Louisiana. And a lot of times the mandolins or instruments were uh, beyond repair. So he ended up with them or the customers just said, you keep it. So he had a whole collection of very cool things, uh, including an H5 man, uh, Lloyd Lohr uh, Mandola. Um, very cool stuff. But this is a F4 that David Harvey repaired. It had a big neck crack on it and a few... Things needed worked on, quite a few things. Um, but Doc Savage just gifted me this. Which I can't say, or Doc Savage, Michael Savage, Doc's son. He gifted, gifted me this that? last night. That's he did. so I said, beautiful. I'm going to start making payments on that because I want to keep it. And he says, you know what? You keep it because I want to end up with somebody that's going to play it. Man. That's awesome. So this thank was, you, Michael. That's so awesome. This was in the store that. for so long. Yeah. And I would go into the fancy room and just stare at those buttons. Yep. It's got the uh, <laughs> Heimdall or Heimdall? Something like that. Handle, handel, uh, inlaid tuner buttons. So these tuner Ooh. buttons have, you can't really see it probably here, but we have photos somewhere. You can look up handel buttons. But they inlaid with glass and metal each one of those tuner buttons. It's just crazy. It's beautiful. That's insane. 
Uh, real quick, we do have videos on our channel of both of those instruments. I mean, all the instruments here, except I don't think the 815 PGE, unless it's like an older one. But we do have reviews on our channels. Uh, I believe that actually David Harvey was with you whenever you guys talked about that instrument yep. and some others that were in the family in at the time. You brought two sister ones, yeah. yeah. You brought in the mandola and the... Uh, Mandocello. Mandocello. Yeah. Or it might have been oct octave and mandocello. Yeah, you could have made mandola but Let's you can see those. Dinah. Dinah? All right. Uh, real quick, what pickups are in the bass uh, we're using? Uh, how many can you count? Uh, it's all K&K &K stuff except for I'm using a Nadine from uh, Ear Trumpet Labs. Ear Trumpet Labs, thank you for sponsoring the Acoustic Shop live stream efforts. Those are the so other the microphones. is what you're well. hearing right now. But I'm also a K&K &K lover and endorser, so... There's a K&K &K, uh, Bass Max, a K&K &K Trinity, Golden Bullet Microphone, a bass. He blends everything to make it sound like the can't remember what the other biggest bass ever. Bass. Now I use them all for different things. There's a lot there. And then the uh, also the microphones in front of uh, Liz and Jeremy are also your Trumpet Labs microphones. They indeed are. You're all right, beautiful. All right, you want to get off? Yeah. play really fast songs a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. That's one thing you lose yeah. is speed. Like, I can't play near as fast as when we're touring all the time. It's exhausting. I'm out of breath. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go ahead and go to the question of the week. I think that's what we're going to do right now. 
I have a question for you. I got a question for you, Hinkley. Loading, loading, loading. Hinkley, I, gotta I got to give a, a warning. For you. Go okay. ahead, you give how a warning. I'm great. No, really. <laughs> really, Hinkley. Really, how are you? Is this my, are we going to do my uh, employee evaluation live? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Guys, I got to say, Liz did a great job scatting on that last video. Do not go on the internet and search for a best scat video. <laughs> Let me warn you, you may not like the results. What, did you see that on the shop's like history or something like that? Search history. Liz trying to research scatting. <laughs> That's an unfortunate shared word. Uh, it, is. it is. Why would they do that? <laughs> okay, so the question is, if you were to learn a non-acoustic instrument, what would you learn? A non-acoustic instrument. I would learn the bassoon. Solid. <laughs> I think mandolin and uh, clarinet have a lot in common. Like a lot of old 20s Benny Goodman stuff that would be cool to play. And I'd, so I'd, I'd like the clarinet for that old stuff. Well, why don't we learn Peter and the Wolf? instruments. <laughs> okay, you do the bassoon. Yeah, the you do the clarinet. Um, I was Hinkley like, oboe. Yes, but We're like, talking like not string or not acoustic? We'll, not do, acoustic. Like, we'll do acoustic. We'll do not stringed acoustic. Not your normal yeah, I was gonna say, I'd, acoustic I'd, I'd that you play. I want to learn to play pedal steel. Some pedal steel. Those guys are cool. Trent's okay at it. Ask Trent. Oh, yeah. Say. Trent's really good at it. Yeah, no, Trent's really good at it. Nobody's the theremin. Oh, man. <laughs> no, theremin's just a toy. <laughs> the badgerman? That's I, a fair I would learn the Chapman stick. <laughs> Ooh, you ever seen one of those things? <laughs> <laughs> They've got a hundred... They got a hundred strings. Again, bad turn, but um, it, it's a guitar that has like a hundred strings. Uh, These guys that play it, it's all tap stuff, and it's nuts. What? Okay, look it I'll up. have to look this Guys, up right now, go to Google, look up Chapman Stick. Again, careful with your results. But... Okay, we got a question mark. Kentucky Waltz? Yep. Kentucky Waltz We're question mark? You guys know that? Night in Kentucky. Do you guess? I need the lyrics. Okay, See we'll do that. I got a set of that. Long once more for your <laughs> embrace. That's Guys, beautiful. I don't sing much lead, but I'm going to do it for you. For you folks <laughs> at home. We were waltzing and Jason can sing it. Do it like that, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I like your vibrato. All right. Is it D? Yeah, it goes to the, so there's a weird uh, chord passage, so it's, Hello, boss. No, wait, so. Oh, now you got me messed up here. I might just go to E. Oh, you gotta do it. Well, yeah, it's all along. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay.
Watch posted 15 minutes ago. This woman sings like an angel and shreds on the mandola. You got a big old mandola there. Is that, they're talking about me. I think they're talking about you. Facts. The mustache. It's that mustache. That mustache. This lady on, with a mustache. Oop, we got another question. Can you upgrade the tuners on a 304 mandolin? If so, what do you suggest? Uh, yes, you can you absolutely can. upgrade the tuners on there. Um, I think the Scheller tuners would be that next upgrade that fits. Yeah. They, the holes line up, um, and the footprint of it pretty much lines up. So look up for just a basic Scheller tuner. I wouldn't go too crazy with it. Don't go out and buy some some Waverly $800 tuners for your $600 mandolin, but a nice set of uh, Schellers would probably be a good upgrade. Godos? Do Godos? Godos? I think they I, might line up too. I think that Godos, Godos is what Godos they have do. on the 800, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I think so. Godos would work on that A style yeah. too. Um, is it a thing? Can we talk about this? Can we get in the weeds on this? Mm -hmm. Sure. Please don't. So much on the internet is how you need to upgrade tuners and this and that. And tailpiece, yes, I understand. Yes. Tailpieces are a good monster over upgrade, here. But tuners, I mean. Do any tuners stay in tune? It's not really staying in tune. Be, they they, be, uh, they bind up. So mm -hmm. here's, yeah, I know there's a comfort feeling. So there is a better tuners are better. I understand that they work better. But the argument that everybody has on the internet is they don't stay in tune. Cheap tuners don't stay in tune. I don't blame that. Is, gear I tuners for that. the most part aren't causing your tuning issues. No. Most of the time, if you're having major so, tuner issues where they they all of a sudden like one string will go out mm -hmm. all the time. A lot of times it's being pinched in the nut or bridge, but most often the nut. Or your bridge placement. And you're is sitting off. here, you're sitting there tightening it, and nothing's happening. So then you over tighten it, and then also that string pulls f through while you're playing it. The vibration makes it finally slide through, and then you're all, all constantly over adjusting yeah. to get it to finally go to where you want it. But then there's slack on this side of the headstock. It pulls through over here, and all of a sudden the string's flat again. So here's my kind of back opinion, forth. I rarely think that the tuner, like geared tuners. Like don't cause it to go out of tune. Unless it's a planetary tuner on a banjo, a I don't think tuner. the hearing makes any difference in the quality. I think they're more accurate tuners. Comfort. Comfort. Like the biggest thing I've found better. on those 300 series, if we're getting in weeds, is some of them are really hard to turn. Like just the angle of the, the post um, is binding up that gear. So it can, some of those, it's, it's hard. It's hard. And if you're a little baby, literally, like if you got, if you're like <laughs> if you're a, a little baby to play the mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like an eight-year-old kid, but if it's a child playing, or an old yeah, woman 15, or an old man, yeah, or, yeah. No, I get that, it can, but all I see painful. online is you got first thing you got to do is upgrade those tuners because they don't stay in tune. Yeah, it's yeah, not the staying in tune. Not, yeah. Aesthetically, though, but yeah. also aesthetically, yeah, that's quality, what I was going to say. If you want to upgrade it, for it can affect the tone a little on. bit going to a, a dancer tuner too. Like they add a little more mass to that stock. You're not going to notice a big difference going from like the. The ones that are on, which I'm not even sure, it's an off brand that's on those 305s. I don't know what they are. They're pink. But, uh, they might be pink. We just got a rose on pink. TikTok. Thank pink. you, guys. What? We got a rose on TikTok. So oh, thank you so much. Is asking about so because Liz is here. Jeremy. You got a tailpiece rec real quick? There's no Tailpiece, direct. I think, makes a big, it can make a big tonal difference. The stamp tailpieces are very lightweight. <laughs> they rattle quite a bit because that, that cover is never really secure. Um, and also, the biggest thing is the prongs break off a lot on the pressed tail pieces mm -hmm. um, quite often. There was a major issue with a big batch of these for about a year Eastman's, or two. Uh, we're still piece. seeing some of those on the internet. They were using some inferior metal, whoever yeah. was making these tail pieces for Eastman. Um, they have replaced all of those under warranty. They've addressed them. And I haven't had that issue come up anymore. But pressed tail pieces are much more massive. They have no normally made with cast some... Cast tail pieces. Cast tail pieces, yes. Um, normally made with some brass and then covered with... Uh, a shiny material, whether you want gold or... So the ones that come on Eastman's now are actually a bit of an upgrade because they are cast tail pieces. I really love the James tail piece. Yeah. yeah, the James is probably your next step up. It's me. a classy tail piece. 
A classic. Mm -hmm. Nice. But you really have to re drill to put a James on there. Fraulein, Fraulein. Yeah, sometimes. Locked down by the. You seen that one, Jason? A request for Fraulein. Get All right, this is for Clayton for on uh, TikTok. I swear that I what, love what am I typing? For you. Which Fraulein, I think, means uh, lady. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm typing. Fraulein. Fraulein. It's, it's spelled with a F R A U L. It's German. There it is, E I N. Fraulein. Fraulein. Can I sing it with a German accent? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. There's okay. no German's daughter. What thing would what key would you do? There's a Coulter wall. I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, must be Friday. Far across these blue waters. It goes waters. up kind of high in that. Yeah. Why I can say I don't worry about me. Stars above you. Uh, all right.
It's an old country hit. An old country song. If Very you were to best. estimate, uh, how many songs do you think that you know? Like, define no. Like, like <laughs> Can you fake could, like on a show like this? Yeah, like, because a majority of Hundreds. the songs that people recommend or ask for, you you know. There's thousands, and it's, I think that's the cool thing about becoming a musician, is you don't really know them, but it's just you kind of recognize melodies and can somewhat recreate them. It's insane, I can't. Yeah, a lot of these we've heard Music is like... Years. Like, it's like a memory thing, too. It's way easier to remember songs and stuff like that than anything else in the entire world. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of the melodies. It's using so many different parts of your brain for the memory. Yeah. That's why if you need to study for a test, I don't think that any of our demographic may need to, they may or may not need to study for a test, but you should come up with the answers in a little song. That's what I used to do, because it helps. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Make little parodies about genetics and stuff like that whenever I was in school. <laughs> I can't. I can't the knee study and, to the leg and listen to music yeah. at the same time. To Me neither. I, have to have ball, I can't. I can make a song based the... on whatever no. I'm studying because that's just the easiest way to do that. Liz, Savannah wants your hair on TikTok. Aww. Well, she Take can it off it. and good. <laughs> <laughs> Take off that wig. When, I, sh wig. when I shave my head again, <laughs> you'll be the first person I, that's I great. let Liz you know. A once. couple. We're going through a Sinead O'Connor rebellious one. Everybody needs it. It's true. She ripped up a picture of the Pope. I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's hear Liz play her favorite song to perform. Yes. Somebody wants to hear your favorite song to perform, please. A couple people want to hear that. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I would say it's probably my brother's song again. Is this the other creepy one with the devil? Yeah. This is about the devil. <laughs> Uh, basically the same chords, Jason. They're all the same chords, just in a different arrangement, <laughs> different configuration. It's an E flat. Dig a little grave and bury a young woman I'd killed there yesterday when I got to the spot where I laid her down to die. A cloud of moss appeared that blackened out the sky. A man appeared before me and asked me if I knew to whom I had the pleasure of seeing and speaking to and I fell on my knees and I began to pray I knew I'd met the devil there that day and they say my world has come my kingdom my kingdom My world has come My kingdom My kingdom A small town, a ways on down the road. All the people there were pious, and he wanted their souls. And he told me if I went there and helped him run God's slaves, he'd make me a king on earth one of these days. And he said, My world has come, my king. My kingdom, they say, my world has come. My kingdom, my kingdom. I walked into 
Salem in the middle of the day. All the people there were quiet and the children didn't play. And I thought to myself, what a horrid little town. Can't wait to help the devil burn it down. It's a mean one. <laughs> <laughs> so dark. Your brother's got problems. He does. Has he seen a doctor? <laughs> huh? Has he seen a doctor? Oh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Music is his outlet. <laughs> oh, man. He keeps the rest of society safe. He writes it. Thank you guys everywhere on TikTok and YouTube for all the kind words also. On YouTube or on TikTok, we got a bunch of kind words for all of that. Yeah. All the play and whatnot and what have you. Thank you guys. I swore that I've heard that. I've heard you play that song and I didn't. I thought it was a cover. I know your brother wrote that. Yeah, my ding dang brother wrote it. It sounds like. And now I know that that is, is also the, the thing that you play whenever you're testing guitars. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. <laughs> is he the one that does? They wrote the music for Doom too for the game. No, he's the other brother. The other brother did all the uh, um, sound effects for Doom. Oh my gosh! All the gun gun you noises. Yeah. That's crazy. That's sick. A talented family, really. Wow. Bunch of weirdos is what they are. <laughs> Aren't most talented people weirdos? Terry McGeorge says George. that's the best yeah. guitar I've ever heard and seen. Oh, Terry, know. it could be yours. That it was their guitar. guitar. Yeah. That was their guitar. Oh, that was. That was their guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I didn't know. Oh, you're silly. Years. I thought we just got this in, in that last no. shipment. No. Okay, yeah, Savannah on TikTok says, are these songs on Spotify or anything? Do you have these under Isabel Crane, or are these on uh, Spotify? Some of them are on Isabel Crane. That one is a very, very loud song. She did electric guitar. And yeah. You got to cut all that stuff. That, my, my, brother, my brother's singing that one. It's called Daisy Pusher, if you want to look that okay. up. You really want to have some fun. <laughs> What's the name of the band? Uh, Kids and Chemicals. Yeah, Kids and Chemicals. Guys, Liz was in a. I was in a band oh, with her oh, doing like this very soft stuff that she's doing now, some, some gypsy jazz and some old cover stuff, this pretty stuff. And then she would go later that night and do Kids and Chemicals, which is Liz screaming her head off like. <laughs> <"What?"> <laughs> <laughs> screamo band. Oh my god. It wasn't a screamo band. I'd it just get close. excited sometimes at oh, the, okay. and I'd all. scream a little bit. Oh okay, that's. It all. was pretty awesome. Yeah. One time I. Uh, um, and she'd come to the next show with no voice. That's true. Uh, one time I thought that there were a lot of people in the crowd, and there weren't that <laughs> when, many. When you're on stage, the lights are right in your face. So you'll see like the first few rows, and you, you can't see yeah. anything past there. It's dark. So, so I tried to jump off the stage. <laughs> I got caught, no. but then I realized that there are only like three people just taking me back, and then they put me back on the stage. <laughs> the rock star life. It was very embarrassing. Oh my god! <laughs> I hadn't heard that story. That's really good. That's insane. Steve says, I gotta get back to work. Great show. Thank you for joining us. Zebra, Zebra cakes, cakes for everybody. That'd be great if that, that was a gift that, that you could give. Uh, that would be great if that was a gift you could give on TikTok. Zebra cakes? Zebra yeah. cakes. Maybe do they a, will do personal. Do do, ones. It's like doing shots <laughs> at, at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Zebra cakes. Cake. <laughs> I had one last week and they're one? so waxy and weird. If I eat yeah. one, Jason loves them. Liz, are you gonna eat one? Yeah, I'll eat Jason, one. Jason, you gotta thank Mike. The big ones are better, yeah, I know. Thank you, Mike White. Yeah, shout out Mike yeah, White. He brought those um, by. <laughs> our best customers always deliver us zebra cakes. So, <laughs> just letting you know. Um, guys, we got some news this Friday. Shot, 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 shot. Let's gonna help us out. We got, we got the uh, bluegrass night at the ballpark in Springfield, Missouri. Oh, yes. We're gonna be doing the baseball game at the. Uh, it used to be Hammonds Field, but now it's the I Springfield Cardinals Field, I think. Are you serious? Did they really change that? Yeah, they, the city bought it. What's it called? Oh. I think it's just called the Springfield Cardinals. Stadium. Hmm. Creative. It's owned by the town. It's no longer Hammonds. I'll be um, rollerblading there if anybody wants to join. I'll also be rollerblading there. Are you serious? Like, no. Uh, Why? You want to rollerblade? She oh, did last year. Rollerblade there. there. Yeah. yeah. No, she's gonna be rollerblading on the field. I was like, what? Hey. Oh no, I. It's a little bit farther for me but to rollerblade. Friday night, Maybe we're gonna be having up. a jam session out front at six o'clock. Game starts at seven. The Peterson family, the Petersons from Branson, Missouri, are gonna be singing the national anthem. And uh, we're going to play Take Me Out to the Ball Game at the seventh inning stretch. With uh, Corey's going to be Corey's playing that. Play He's we're very, very cool. Yeah. Am I doing that fun. this year or can I skip it? 
Wait, is John going to be here? He will not be here. Oh, he didn't get back till John's Saturday. John's busy on vacation. How's the heat in Nevada? Is he doing okay? I heard it's I know, hot. I know when he landed, it was 118 I talked degrees. To Dad. The next day, the they day tried to walk the, the strip and spent most of the time walking inside the hotels because, again, it was 118 degrees. And I just oh. read an, uh, an article yesterday. There was a Delta Airlines where... It got stuck on the tarmac for about four hours. The air conditioning wasn't working. It got to 111 inside the cabin. They had three people pass out, had to turn around. They said <laughs> others soiled themselves. Oh, so, no. This is horrible. This is on the <laughs> Las Vegas. Just to cool off. <laughs> no, I talked to Dad. He said it's really hot. Like, they went to Zion, and it was uh, 100. It was, it was well over 180. Oh my god! What he said, but it was hot. I heard that in Arizona it was the hottest, or in Phoenix they had their hottest day since the seventies or something. <laughs> why a trip out why west. would they do that? I don't know. Whew. I'm always going north. Oh man! So is it truly a vacation with five children in 118 degree weather? No. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good luck, John. Okay, I told <laughs> He's He's gonna I, I'm sorry. Yeah. You, good luck, guys. Next week when John I'm gets home. I'm taking my kids in, on vacation in shifts. <laughs> you got it, bro. You got it. Uh, you two get to go this time. You two stay with Grandpa. Buddy system, man. You got it. Uh, I'll come back in a couple of days. You guys have anything else no. that you want to play? You guys want to discuss what How you're watching? How hard is that whole song? I always, that's another creepy, cool sounding song. It's not too hard. Who did that one? It was like uh, the Handsome Family. The handsome. Mm -hmm. Not the Hanson family. Liz, is that song ever going to be streamed anywhere? Are you ever going to record it and put it on Isabel Crane or something? Uh, it'll be on the Lace Wings, hey. probably. Oh, no, Lace you guys Wings. can't do it. It's our song. <laughs> Here's the deal. We're going to film Liz doing it in the studio and release it on our channel. There we go. Perfect. There we, go. Yeah. we can release it on our it YouTube channel. Yeah. I've been trying As to long... drag Liz into the studio to do some content. Guys, we're trying to think of a good name. We used to go by Belladonna. It turned out there's a lot of bands called <laughs> Belladonna and a porn star. <laughs> really? So again, uh, awkward <laughs> internet searches when you're trying to find the band. So we're talking about maybe doing Ozark Mystery. Belladonna or... Rattling Gourds, another one. Rattling Gourds, which sounds pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. Or okay. the French pronunciation, Belladonna. Belladon. Belladon. But yeah, just wait for that to be butchered every time. You're <laughs> yeah. That's what would be fun. Oh, it's like man. the first five minutes. No, it's Belladon. <laughs> yeah, I said that. No, Belladon. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you got some name suggestions for Liz's band with me in it. Yes, yeah. our YouTube here. channel is the same as TikTok. We got a request for Dust in a Baggy. I don't think any of us know that. We, it's a request every week. We're going to have to learn it. You're going to have to learn it. We'll I'm have to learn it. I'm not a song one. about drugs, especially meth. What? <laughs> Liz has done some about... Oh, that's not a good one, Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> that's a song Liz wrote. Um, I got a lot of drug songs. Not okay. that I've ever done them. I have just... <laughs> Read like, about them. Yeah. <laughs> Liz and the Lounge Lizards. Uh, that's solid. Liz and the Lounge Lizards. That could be bad. Well, how about Liz and the Lot Lizards? You can see a few uh, Liz covers also, by the way, on our YouTube channel, if you're looking for it on TikTok. Do you want to do the whole, or do you want to do the, uh... Crows? Crows, or we could do, uh... I don't know if I can play any of these. one, uh... Rock Salt Nails. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, we probably should kick Liz off the stage. Oh, yeah, we got Trent. Trent. Do we want one more song with Liz? Let's give Liz one more song. Let's do... No! Okay, yeah. We said that we were gonna do it, so do one more. Okay. Um. 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 You um. Pick up all those, or a different one. What's that one you did that was the old guy that played cool guitar stuff, acoustic? Never mind. That's confusing. <laughs> like back in the depression era. I'm depressed. I am too. Well, um, Liz Shepard, everyone. <laughs> uh, let's. Will you, uh, Hinkley, will you bring up? Uh, no, I know which one. Which one? Um. The one you wrote about being in the bar. Oh, Cowboy Song? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a cover that is, a, is on this our, is our, channel. our channel. It is. Hinkley did a beautiful Daisy job on that. Daisy Chains. There you I go. tried my darndest on that. So I like the name Daisy Chains. And you can wear, like, the Daisy Chain hat. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Crown. What was your picture of Daisy? I can tell by your gait that you're drunk, it's okay. I'm not fond of being sober myself. By the looks of you, you've got to drink maybe two before you forget everything. So 
Just wait, wait for me, baby. I'll catch up to you soon. So just wait, wait for me, baby. I don't want to. I get a little nervous when all the birds are stirring, beckoning in this town to get up. When it's five a.m. and I'm still stumbling, I don't want to leave this fire in my head. So just wait, wait for. I'm afraid I ain't had quite enough Cause your joke still ain't funny And I feel bad, honey For not laughing nearly enough Not laughing nearly enough So just wait, wait for me, baby I'll catch up to you soon So just wait, wait for me, baby I don't want to remember with you I don't want to remember with you I forgot the leaves because it sounds so beautiful with the harmonies Hi, <laughs> no Trent so much for all the kind words. Did you guys know Liz. that that was the first song I ever learned on the guitar? Oh! Liz really wrote that one. I just liked it so much. So I was like, Liz, can you show me the chords? It's only four chords. It's only four so. chords. Except for the chords. When you get there, it gets a little <laughs> awkward. Yeah. They're not really chorus like that. Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Yeah, there's two extra chords there that I didn't get. No, I was afraid I was going to get the Hudson Dalton Zebra. Oh, she didn't eat it yet? No, but now I am. <laughs> now I am. Thank you, Liz. Uh, go back to fixing guitars. All right. All right. I'll she's ducking her. like she got her head on something. Uh, Savannah the on TikTok, that song was called Cowboy Song, and you can find a cover of that, or like a, a music video of that on our youth. And if you have not you, done so already, make sure you guys do watch that, that brand new muted video just for a second don't worry just to repeat that that song was cowboy song then just in case that didn't just in through. case they I, didn't yeah, hear that the, ha the later half of it just in I case know. okay i just uh, i was trying to mute trent because he's making noise on his mic. i get you i get you i get you oh it's okay right. we fixed it now trent what do you want to do we had a request for wagon wheel i know that's your favorite <laughs> no, yeah i can no, do it just kidding oh what would you like to do in tall buildings Somebody, was yeah, a request quite a bit ago, yeah. But if you want to do it. I'm trying to remember the finger part. Can you get the lyrics to that? Yeah, I can. It's a John Hartford tune. A really cool one. He's no finger for I'll fake it. Building. <laughs> in uh, uh, D? D, yes. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Someday, my baby, when I am a man, and others have taught me best that they can sell me a suit cut off my hair 
Send me to work in tall buildings So it's goodbye to the sunshine Goodbye to the dew Goodbye to the flowers Goodbye to you I'm off to the subway I must not be late I'm going to work in tall buildings And my life is my own I've made all the payments And it's time to go home I wonder what happened Betwixt and between When I went to work in tall buildings And it's goodbye to the sunshine Goodbye to the dew Goodbye to the flowers And goodbye to the off to the subway, I must not be late. I'm going to work in tall buildings. So it's goodbye to the sunshine, goodbye to the dew, goodbye to the flowers, goodbye to you. I'm off to the subway, I must not be late. I'm going to work in tall buildings. Take it out, Jeremy. discovered John Hartford earlier. We got to meet him a couple times. Got, oh, really? I guess we were at a show he performed it. I just, I, did, I was too young and didn't realize how awesome he was, so I didn't pay attention. He was a cool person. I like his whole uh, riverboat theme that yeah. he like, had. Yeah. Just the real deal. He was the real A uh, Bus Route by Tyler Childers was requested. I don't know Bus Route, but I can do Lady May if he wants that. Sure. <laughs> At least it's by the same person. Yeah. I don't think I know it. Okay. So you'll have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll join in. That's kind of odd, yeah. Hear it. Um, or you can do a solo performance here and I'll watch. You want lyrics? I want to do yeah, the sure. weird Gaither thing while I just watch you. <laughs> yeah, do that. Right? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> we'll be in D for this one. Uh, I'm a stone throw from the mill And I'm a good walk to the river When my working day is over We'll go swim our cares away Put your toes down by the water And a smile across your face Tell me that you love me Love a lady man I ain't the sharpest chisel That your hand but darling, I could love you well till the road's called on high. I've seen my share of trouble and I've filled my weight in shame. But I'm baptized in your name, love. Oh, 
the wind can leave you shivering as it waltz soar leaves rushing through my timber till your love brought on the spring now the mountains they're all blushing and they don't know what to say kept a good long line of praises for my love that they made I ain't the toughest hickory that your axe has ever held but I'm a hickory just as well I'm a hickory all the same came crashing through the forest as you cut my roots away and I fell a good long my love later man I've been saying his name wrong the entire time. I thought it was Childers. Childers. <laughs> Childers. It is not. Childers. 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 Trent, do you want uh, two seconds to promote yourself? <laughs> two seconds to promote? Literally two seconds? Why not? Mississippi um, Mississippi. Sorry, you did not. Done! <laughs> I do have a debut single out. It's called Redneck Royalty. And um, it's out on every platform. It's, a, it's an autobiography. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Basically explains me top to bottom. Uh, so that's out. Uh, just finished up recording the album. Did a few different tunes on that. So it's coming out very soon. I think August maybe we're looking at. But uh, be on the lookout for that. But uh, feel free to check out Redneck Royalty out on all platforms right now. And uh, it's kind of our debut thing there. Um, which brings me, I did do a cover on that. Uh, if we're in G. Of Johnny Rodriguez's uh, Pass Me By. We did that on there, so, uh, if you want to do that. Would you look what came down the road today? Wanting me to be one more mistake. Bridge to burn to get to someone new. Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. You sure look like a traveling kind to me. So don't stop this same way. Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. Okay, turn it around. Now I'm not gonna be a stepping stone among the other hearts that you. me if I fall in love with you. Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. You sure look like a traveling kind to me. So don't stop. This ain't where you want to be. Now I'm sure what you think you've run into. Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through.
perfect timing. Yeah, I did too. Ooh. All right, Sweet. guys. We appreciate you being a part of the show this week. Um, next week, I will not be here, so Trent will get to sing <laughs> more songs. Um, John will be back. Don't and forget about Bluegrass in the Ballpark. Bluegrass in the Ballpark, Friday yeah. night. And then the new video, check it out on YouTube, because that's probably our proudest video release. Please watch that. <laughs> Watch, watch that all. video. Watch Please all. watch all my videos. Really watch them all. Thank you, Liz Trent, for filling in today. Thanks for Hinkley for uh, yep. being her. I try my darndest. For being the hostess with some of the mostess. <laughs> okay. Not all of it. Okay. It's hard to be The hostess bit. with the average amount. <laughs> with the average amount. <laughs> Can I be a little bit above average? A little bit above the average The hostess amount. that puts in a little bit more than the average amount, amount of her hostess. Effort. All right, it's it's lunchtime, guys. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> it's time for some zebra cakes and Wings. Red Bulls. <laughs> Jackson was on TikTok, by the way, earlier. I don't know if he's oh. still here. He did request Smash Mouth. You guys maybe want to do that? Somebody uh, once that? told me, me the world da, was da, da, gonna. Give me the former employee. He's dead. Oh, is he? <laughs> Jackson, call me. I got a, a guitar for you to sell. <laughs> oh, bye, bye, guys. Goodbye, Goodbye, guys. We'll see you guys. next time. Uh, tomorrow's going to be New Guitar Thursday featuring Trent Pruitt and Austin Handley. I think so, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys then. Peace out, what? everybody. Later, Gator. <laughs>